Attention! The final decision for the Starliner CFT-1 mission has been reached, marking a pivotal moment for Boeing and a significant shift in favor of SpaceX and Dragon. What does this mean for Elon Musk, and what are the implications for both spacecraft moving forward? In today's episode of Great SpaceX, we will explore the details. NASA convened on the afternoon of August 24th to make this crucial decision. Earlier, I shared an unofficial update suggesting the Starliner astronauts might return on Dragon. This has now been confirmed. Everything has unfolded as anticipated. Here, have a listen. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew-9 next February, uh, and that Starliner uh, will return uncrewed and the specifics in the schedule will be discussed momentarily. Regarding the timeline, NASA has confirmed that Starliner is set to undock in early September, with Crew-9 still on schedule for launch on September 24th. This strategic alignment underscores NASA's commitment to ensuring a safe and successful transition for the astronauts. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson recently made a significant statement underscoring the importance of this decision, which is arguably one of the most consequential in recent years for the agency. He emphasized that this was not just the right decision, but a necessary one to maintain the safety and integrity of NASA's human spaceflight program. Nelson also acknowledged Boeing's extensive efforts in collaboration with NASA to gather the necessary data and arrive at this conclusion. In his remarks, Nelson revealed that he had spoken with Boeing CEO Kelly Orberg, who assured him that Boeing remains committed to improving Starliner and continuing their work even after the spacecraft's safe return. In addition to Nelson's remarks, NASA released a comprehensive update that delves into the rationale behind this critical decision. The decision to conduct an uncrewed return of Starliner allows NASA and Boeing to gather additional data during its journey home, all while minimizing unnecessary risks to the astronauts. The update also addressed the series of technical issues that have plagued Starliner, concluding that the vehicle's uncertainties and the lack of expert concurrence failed to meet NASA's stringent safety and performance requirements for human spaceflight. This ultimately led NASA leadership to reassign the astronauts to the Crew-9 mission, a decision grounded in the agency's unwavering commitment to safety. Following this pivotal decision, NASA's Commercial Crew Program Manager Steve Stitch provided further insights into the adjustments being made for the Crew-9 mission. Specifically, Crew-9 will now launch with only two astronauts, allowing space for Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams to safely return next year. NASA and SpaceX are currently working on reconfiguring the Crew-9 Dragon seats and adjusting the mission manifest to include additional cargo, personal effects, and Dragon-specific spacesuits for Wilmore and Williams, ensuring that all necessary preparations are in place for their return. In the coming months, Wilmore and Williams will continue their critical duties aboard the ISS as part of the Expedition 71-72 crew through February of 2025. After NASA's decisions were made public, there was a flurry of reactions from key figures in the aerospace community. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson reiterated his commitment to safety in a tweet that echoed his conference remarks. Spaceflight is risky, even at its safest and most routine. A test flight by nature is neither safe nor routine. Our decision to keep Butch and Suni aboard the space station and bring Starliner home uncrewed is the result of our commitment to safety, our core value. Two SpaceX leaders also weighed in on the situation. Gwyn Shotwell, SpaceX's president and COO, expressed, SpaceX stands ready to support NASA however we can. Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX, also had an immediate and notable reaction. He replied to a tweet about the Starliner delay over the years. Hardly anyone knows that there was a massive effort to block SpaceX from providing astronaut transport for NASA. He also tweeted another picture of their factory with the message, pick of SpaceX factory shortly after we got started. The picture is quite interesting as it has the message, can tiny SpaceX rock Boeing? Then he took the opportunity 
to highlight SpaceX's achievements in reusability, stating, Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX, took the opportunity to highlight SpaceX's achievements in reusability, stating, Falcon 9 is now approximately 75% reusable and requires several days between flights. Starship is designed to be 100% reusable and ultimately be ready to fly within an hour of landing. This is the key to becoming a multi-planet civilization. Musk also subtly referenced the shortcomings of Starliner remarking, the world doesn't need another capsule. What matters is fully reusable rockets and spacecraft. As for the Crew-9 mission, SpaceX is making significant progress. Recently, they released images of two dragons, including one slated for Crew-9. Elon Musk confirmed the two dragons are ready for flight. The launch vehicle, a new booster, B-1085, was recently used in a successful Starlink mission and is now prepared for the upcoming Crew-9 mission. SpaceX's readiness and reliability further underscore the challenges Boeing faces with Starliner. The contrast between SpaceX and Boeing's achievements could not be clearer. While SpaceX continues to innovate and deliver reliable spacecraft, Boeing's Starliner has repeatedly failed to meet expectations. Despite the significant investment and resources funneled into the project under NASA's commercial crew program, the recent decision by NASA heavily reliant on SpaceX's dependable Crew Dragon could mark the unofficial end of the Starliner program. Although NASA has indicated that Starliner may still have a future, the spacecraft has yet to meet the critical requirements of completing a successful crewed test flight, as mandated by the commercial crew program. The immediate challenge for Starliner is to safely return to Earth, even without a crew on board. Given the numerous technical issues that have plagued the spacecraft, ranging from thruster malfunctions to helium leaks, flammable wiring, and parachute failures, there is significant concern about whether the return mission will go smoothly. Any failure during this uncrewed return would not only jeopardize the Starliner program further, but also undermine Boeing's already strained credibility in the aerospace sector. Looking ahead, the Starliner 1 mission has already been delayed until August of 2025. However, given the current technical problems and the possibility that NASA may require additional test flights, there is no guarantee that further delays won't occur. Each delay only increases the likelihood that the Starliner program will fail to meet NASA's expectations, potentially leading to its cancellation. Given these persistent issues, some experts argue that NASA should consider canceling the Starliner program altogether and reallocating the funds to SpaceX or investing in alternative vehicles like Dream Chaser. This move could ensure that NASA's human spaceflight objectives are met without further delays or risks. In contrast, Crew Dragon has once again proven to be the linchpin of NASA's human spaceflight program, demonstrating unparalleled reliability and ensuring that NASA's missions continue without interruption. Dragon's track record, coupled with SpaceX's ongoing innovations, positions the company as the dominant force in the industry for years to come. It's likely that many people like myself support NASA's recent decision to prioritize safety and reliability by relying on Crew Dragon. If you share this sentiment, I encourage you to comment SpaceX Dragon to acknowledge this important milestone in space exploration. Additionally, don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's remarkable journey and the broader developments in the aerospace industry. NASA's recent decision regarding Starliner and Dragon signifies not just a choice between two spacecraft, but a major shift in the aerospace industry. This year marks a decade since NASA awarded contracts to Boeing and SpaceX. At the time, NASA's expectations were naturally higher for Boeing, a long-established company with extensive experience. In contrast, SpaceX was a young company striving to make a breakthrough in the industry. Now, a decade later, the outcomes have defied those initial expectations. Boeing, with its legacy technology and systems, has struggled. The lengthy delays in their testing process had pushed the Crew Flight Test 1 mission back to June 2024. 
Moreover, Boeing's challenges are not limited to Starliner. The company has also faced difficulties with the Space Launch System, or SLS, for NASA. Recently, the SLS components under Boeing's responsibility have been criticized for poor quality, high costs, and potential delays to the Artemis program. Boeing's slow, costly, and inefficient approach highlights its inability to adapt to the new era of aerospace. And naturally, this also reflects on NASA's decision-making. Their trust in Boeing has resulted in significant consequences. Higher costs, delays, and increased risks for the ISS crew program. The issues with SLS could impact Artemis, NASA's most crucial mission. Additionally, other projects like the Lunar Gateway, Mobile Launcher, and Orion spacecraft have become symbols of NASA's complexity, expense, and inefficiency. Fortunately, in challenging times, NASA has had SpaceX's support. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft has restored the U.S.'s autonomy in sending astronauts to the ISS. With Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and the upcoming Starship, SpaceX enables NASA and the U.S. to maintain their leading position in the global space race. It may be time for legacy organizations like Boeing and even NASA to step aside, making way for dynamic companies like SpaceX. NASA's decision on Starliner and Dragon could be the key to unlocking this transition. This moment presents an opportunity for companies with the potential and technological strength to lead the future of the U.S. aerospace industry. In this context, SpaceX, with its Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, Dragon, and Starship, will continue to be the flag bearer, guiding humanity towards realizing the dream of exploring the universe. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.